so before we, we go to register user let me explain you the concept of a background image so this is our front end and this is public and here there is a folder called the image and here is where I store my images okay so I want to load this image okay so what I can do here mm, I can create a login style so this is my login style and the URL is public URL plus uh, image 18.jpg and these are the images properties okay and another thing is mm, so here uh, this is the div row. This is a uh, class name called SM4. It starts from here and ends here. So add another div, this one. Okay. The class name is called SM8 for image style is login style. We have already declared here. Okay, login style. After that, your login page should look like this. So, guys, let's do the register user functionality. Okay. So, here we need, as you can see, this is our login. It is too similar. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this is our register. Okay. This is our register. So it's almost the same. It takes username and the password. It takes username and the password. This set the token because we know that every registered user has token to authenticate. Here we don't set token, okay? Because the user is initially or is at the first press created the token. So this is our function. And uh, it execute here, uh, okay. API service you register user, and let me open up API service register user. So our URL is this post stringify is almost similar to this. The only difference is only URL. So you will no need to write uh, the register user. You just copy and change here on the URL okay so that is let me show you here on login okay let me show you here in login uh, okay here in login as you can see okay let me show you here so if user want to log in will display the login button Okay, but if user want to log to register, uh, the form will be handled by register btn function. Okay, which is this one. We register btn. Okay, register btn. So this was all about registering a user in Django and React JS. So let's try out to register user. So let me say user is Sarah. Okay. Okay. Sarah okay Sarah so let me come here I want to register so once I click register Sarah is already registered okay and if I come here and I refresh on users okay let me log in no worry log in as Motec log in as Motec you can see there is user Sarah and once I come here on section of tokens, you can see uh, the last token will be of user Sarah. Okay, you can see user Sarah. So user Sarah has token. So let me try out it to create a posting. Okay. Hi, I'm Sarah Python. I'm Sarah Python. Hi guys. And let me try out to post. You can see hi I'm Sarah Python. Hi guys. She can update. 
okay she can update the she can update the article all right or she can delete the article so that's all about our blog post but one thing uh we are going to change one thing before we close the session as you can see here token used is token of you root of root user okay we are using token of more tech okay so we, what we want to do here as you can see the uh, token of user more tech starts with a2 and ends with 2b okay so we are using the token of user more tech the next thing to do is to make sure that every user will use his or her own token to authenticate when creating a post so we don't want user to use the token of motec so that will be the very simple change okay so that is what has remained before we close our awesome session of django and react js blog posting